Could Iowa's carbon-free energy future get a major boost? The Duane Arnold Nuclear Power Plant, which reliably powered Iowa homes and businesses for over 45 years, may be poised for an exciting comeback in 2028, potentially marking a new chapter in the state's clean energy story. Yes, you heard that right. Next Era Energy is taking steps to potentially reopen Iowa's only nuclear power plant. The plant operated in Palo, Iowa from 74 until 2022, when it closed mainly due to the economics of competing with heavily subsidized trifecta of wind, solar, and natural gas. In January 2025, Next Era filed paperwork with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to begin the process of restoring the plant's operating license. The company needs to address multiple factors, including restoring plant systems, training staff, and securing regulatory approvals before any restart can occur. The plant's closure in 2020 sent ripples through the local community of Palo, with businesses suffering from reduced traffic and residents relocating after job losses. While Next Era proposed replacing the nuclear facility with two solar installations that would consume a sprawling 2,637-acre footprint, this plan has proven controversial among residents, especially considering the original nuclear facility occupied just 500 acres, much of which was leased to farmers for crop production or left in its natural habitat. The stark contrast in land use efficiency, combined with the fact that Duane Arnold Nuclear Facility generated 9.2% of Iowa's electricity from its modest footprint, helps explain why local officials report widespread excitement about the potential nuclear restart. While the restart plans are preliminary, they align with a broader trend of reconsidering nuclear power plant closures in the United States. Dwayne Arnold now completes a trio of recently closed U.S. nuclear plants that are now venturing down the path of restarting. Nuclear power offers one of the most reliable forms of carbon-free energy generation. Dwayne Arnold's potential revival could represent a significant win for both Iowa's energy independence and climate goals. What do you think? Is Iowa taking the right step, or should they stick to building more solar?